Hey everyone, it's Mambo T Spills here, and you're back for another edition of the Chateau Recap. So this week I'm gonna do a similar format as what I did last week. So to start with Chateau de la Lande. At Chateau de la Lande, there was a lot going on this week. And it all began with Steph. This week, she started the videos on Sunday showing off all of her fancy dishes. And all I could think about is that, wow, I do not want to ever have to wash that many dishes. But it was really cool to see them, to get a story behind them, where they come from, and just to hear her passion for the history of these dishes. The next video of the week was regarding the gifts that they received. So I was a little jealous of her in this one because she had everything that I ever wanted, friends and receiving gifts from random strangers on the internet. But honestly though, she did get a lot of cool gifts and as usual, she got a ton of clothes. Her closet must just be teeming with clothes that Vincent with to her. She also got some weird things like someone sent her a corset which is kind of an offensive gift to give to someone. I don't know if that's sending a hidden message or if it was just not thought out too then well. Then tragedy struck Lalan. One of the baby Peachicks passed away. It was a sad, sad occasion and they had him just sitting in a box, but I'm sure that he's with that big bird in the sky now. So Salmar and his you know, he has that deep connection to all of the birds. He buried the bird and gave it a nice little service as he laid it to rest in the middle of a forest. Then the lady comes back that is fixing the stained glass window at the church and they take down one of the other stained glass windows to go away and to be fixed. So I think that Patreon is really helping them to renovate and update their cathedral. Although when they took that the one down that they're going to fix. It definitely needed to be fixed because the person in that one was very unrecognizable. Let's just put it like that. It was kind of like one of those paintings where they redo them, but then it like turns out kind of horrible. So hopefully that they will get that fixed and it will be looking a lot better by the time they get it back. Then Thomas goes back to his creativity and he updates the salon that he started to create in what used to be like the I don't know like some type of shed and he actually gets his first customer which is Oliver and he does a haircut on him which I will leave that up to you to judge how well he did then Oliver starts to paint and while the studio that he has created to paint in is kind of chaotic at the moment, they're still working on putting it all together. The painting that he does of Stephanie's mother is really good. And I did not know that he had this hidden talent, but he really goes all in on the painting or on the painter's vibe. He like has a special hat, he has a special outfit. And so he really is prepared and he appears to be quite skilled at doing this. But then again, that's coming from me and this is is usually what my pictures would look like. So take my opinion with a grain of salt. Another thing that happens this week is Bastille Day. And personally, I had never been acquainted with this holiday, but it appears to be some type of French National Day. And so they all sit around, they all sing the anthem of France, if that's a thing. They definitely sing some patriotic song and they all have a little bit of a celebration out on their patio. Then Marie, the florist, returns, potentially putting Thomas out of a job because she is the original florist of Lalan. She has her own channel even where she talks about how to put a bunch of different bouquets together or how to arrange different flowers. And now I've never been a conspiracy theorist, but it is creepy how many times I'm getting recommended her um, flowers with Marie channel, considering I've never even watched any videos about flowers. Very odd. That's really nice to have her back, and she is a really good addition to the character cast that is the Chateau de la Lande residence. So now shifting to doing it ourselves. And doing it ourselves only posted one video this week. And for me, I think they should be posting more because I want to see them. I want to know what is going on at their chateau. So hashtag post more. But as of the time of uploading this, there has not been any new content besides that one video. And this week they did what people have been begging them to do, and that is to tear down the ceiling. So in the top of the gardener's cottage, which is where Michael actually wants to live at some point, they tear down the cottage, 
the ceiling. I, it's not really the roof, it's the ceiling of the top floor. And so you can see like all the beams and the trusses, which makes me kind of nervous. I don't know, just seeing those th old, old beams exposed and then like if they leave the ceiling open and you have to stare at those old beams, I would be worried about the integrity of them. I mean, I'm sure they're fine, but to me, that's just like, ah, scary. So it looks really dusty. Personally, not something that I would want to be spending my day doing, but I'm sure that it will all be worth it in the end when he gets this really nice and cozy place to stay away from the big, huge, drafty chateau that he is currently staying in. He and his um, father, along with another guy, who I'm not, I didn't really pay attention to that, who that was, but they would, they spent their time filling in the rocks on the outside. So, you know, from a perspective of someone that's not from their country, it's really weird to see just like rocks in the wall. I don't know, just like seeing those huge, just seeing rocks and like chunks of rock making up your wall and then like filling in between them. It seems like really precarious, but I mean, it's been there for so many years that I'm sure that it's very stable. So. They basically are like filling in the gaps between the rocks and like filling in the cracks that have come about over time. And they're just basically making sure that the whole thing doesn't crumble over, especially when he's going to be living in it. Then he and his family go to antique shops. And again, I am pretty impressed by all of his knowledge that he has about just basically everything. I don't know which school he went to, but it probably was a private school because those things I don't know how you would ever because those things I don't know how you would ever know those things I mean I'm pretty sure public schools don't teach you about the history of a tea kettle or a teapot or that's really nice that he was able to learn about all of these things and to remember it because I probably would forget that in about 10 seconds because there's just so much to know and every little thing in those shops has such a deep history and I never even knew that there was that much to know about things so simple as a tea kettle. Anyway, if you want history on things then you can watch that video, especially the part where he talks about antiques. I mean, he even knows the history of a mantelpiece. Who knows the history of a mantelpiece? Anyway, it's really interesting to get to hear all about the history of these objects. And I really encourage you to check this video out if you want to learn more about the history of uh, different antiques. And if you just want to, you know, see these different old things. Also, at the, sh at the shop, they don't really buy anything, but his brother actually does buy a set of tables. But anyway, that's all that happens with doing it ourselves this week. It's kind of a slow week, but I can't wait to start seeing renovations on their little mini gardener's cottage thing because I love to see renovations and especially small houses because it's so interesting to see how they can fit all the big amenities that you would need into such a small space and it works. Then at Chateau Life. So at Chateau Life, there wasn't a lot going on at their chateau this week. So I'm not going to talk much about them because I really mainly just want to cover chateau renovations and like what's going on at the ch chateaus. But this week, Chateau Life packed their bags and they went on a trip for their anniversary. And it's really cool. The places that they got to visit were really nice. You could see one of them was like, um, it was kind of like a cathedral monastery thing. It would be so cool to live within driving distance of all these cool historical sites. And this was a really cool one because these like cathedral things were like on islands. It just seemed like a really cool place to visit and to just, you could probably spend a whole week there just learning all of the history. And then they also did a live stream from a new chateau and that was a nice change of scenery that I really enjoyed to see a different background. It's always nice to switch it up and to be able to see even more chateaus than you already get to see by watching these three vlogs. So hopefully this was a good recap and it includes all of the three major channels that I would say. And if you want me to include more channels, then just stick that down in the description in the comments. And if you want to check out any of these channels, all of their links are listed in the description below. So that is all today for the weekly Chateau recap with Mamba Tea Spills.